itself. So get you guys on the videos here. See how it sounds. It actually ran, but it still sounds like it's making that ticking sound. Sounds like it's coming right from the top end. Oh, okay. It's back down. All right, let's. Uh, we know that it runs. Let's start it back up.
So tell me what you guys think this is. I think it's a valve tap. It really sounds like it to me. Hear that? Let me take you guys out of the case. In fact, I'm gonna make a separate video of this. That's all I got for now. He's Liam Peters signing out. Hey YouTube, Diesel Dan Peters here. So I just got a brand new uh, timing chain on this quad and I uh, replaced a few springs here and there, you know, just a little bit of maintenance. And I've been trying to get rid of this sound because this is, I thought it was originally the timing chain, but it's still there. So I'm gonna start it up and tell me what you guys think it is. Sounds like top end to me, but it goes away. I thought maybe it was piston slap, but I don't think it's that either. I, don't know, I have a feeling the valves need to be adjusted, so I think that's going to be my first step. But uh, stay tuned for this next little series on Can I Fix My Quad? Dan Peters signing out for now. YouTube, so I'm going to show you guys how you do the valve adjustment on a Polaris Sportsman 300. So basically, you take the top cover off, you take the side cover off. Uh, you want that line aligned with the line there on the engine, engine and the cam. And you'll know if you have it done correctly if you can kind of move the valves back and forth. Now, remove the uh, what do you call it the spark plug so I can get it perfectly aligned in the middle I don't want to have any problems with this but just from what I'm feeling it's definitely on the loose side so that and let's see we'll go around to the other side and again this is just a rough I know this one is definitely loose. By a lot. Well, not by a whole lot, but enough where it could make some valve tapping noise. So we'll see if this is the issue. If not, we'll proceed to other stuff, obviously. But let's give this a shot. Always want to start at the easier stuff and then work your way up pretty much. It's the way I always do my, my work. So on that note, let me get the spark plug out and we'll continue this video. Thank you. 
All right, YouTube. You guys think it's gonna still make that noise? I guess we'll find out. You know what might help if I put the uh, spark plug back in? You okay? Yeah, why? Oh, I hit that look on my face. Oh my goodness. All right, YouTube, so uh, give you guys a rundown on how everything's going with this. So I still have to replace a few of these clips that hold the uh, plastics on. 
I'm going to see if the Polaris dealership has them this weekend. Uh, because that would be great. If not, I'll just put bolts in. But I prefer not to use bolts. I like using the original stuff. Uh, everything else seems okay right now. Uh, the engine still makes that noise, but from what I've read, apparently a lot of people have that exact same noise. And I didn't have any metal flakes that came out of the engine, so I don't, I'm not going to go super crazy about it. But let me show you guys how it starts. It's not fast. But uh, it's definitely a fun little quad. I think it's perfect size for what I know I'm going to be using it for. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about this. So Diesel Dan Peters signing out for now.